Hello, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel Volvo Christian, and also welcome to the XC40. The last couple of days I posted three videos starring the EX90, but in this video it's all about the XC40. Because in just two or three months we will get huge upgrades on the XC40 and the C40 range. And in this video I'm going to touch upon all of those upgrades that we're getting. This is a Model 23. It's a press car that I just picked up from uh, Volvo Car Norway a couple of days ago. It's in a recharge twin ultimate spec, finished off in silver dawn over the tailored wool upholstery. Beautiful spec. But as I said, in just two months time, we will get the Model 24. And with that, we will get massive upgrades for the XC40 and the C40 range. And I'm going to explain everything uh, on the way over um, in this video. Because right now I'm actually starting here at, at Chi, uh, just outside of Oslo, and I'm heading home to uh, my hometown, Bergen. And as you see, it's wonderful weather here in Oslo. I'm excited to see how uh, the weather are in uh, Bergen. But I started with 100% in, in the garage at home. I'm now down to 95%, I think. So we will also check the consumption and compare it against the Model 24 when that arrives. So I hope you will enjoy this video. Let's jump out on the road and you will, uh, we will talk again when I reach uh, my uh, half point. Hello again, you're now joining me at Gol. I have just arrived here at the Coppola Rapid Charger uh, at the Gol. Coppola are my sponsor here on the channel, so they are providing me with uh, electricity to do these range tests and also charging tests. So a huge thanks to Coppola for providing me with electricity. Make sure to check out their awesome uh, cell phone uh, application or website. I'm a huge fan of the application to connect, super easy. I've been connected for a couple of minutes now. I connected it at 46%. We can now jump in to see. We're now at 57, charging at 109 kilowatt, 108. It said I was supposed to charge here for 19 minutes. So we're just gonna do a quick charging stop and then I'm actually gonna walk over to um, Bilia Ghoul. That's just around the corner here. They had a wicked um, XC40 with a pink roof box. And then I will probably grab some food over at that uh, shell station. Maybe we can see it now in the background. You see that wicked XC40 in the background there. <laughs> I gotta think for uh, roof boxes and uh, Volvos. So. But let's see. Charging for yeah, 19 minutes and then we are uh, off again. The XC40 can charge at a peak rate of 150 kilowatts. So that's why I'm pulled into this uh, 150 uh, charger. And the Model 24 can actually peak at a higher uh, rate. It peak at 200 kilowatts, so that's even better. But now I'm join going over to uh, Bilia a little uh, stop. Got a home. 
Hello again and welcome back. You're now joining me on my way over uh, Hamsedal mountain pass. Really awesome road to drive while well, we're crossing over to the western side of Norway. Just spectacular scenery as we head up in the mountain uh, pass here. I really love driving this road. Just amazing scenery. So highly recommend uh, driving this road uh, both winter and summer. Just spectacular scenery. I'm gonna overlay some pictures so you uh, also get to see this beautiful, beautiful location. But anyway, let's get down to the topic in hand. The XC40, C40 and the huge upgrades that Volvo are giving it for the Model 24 lineup. Today it's 18th of May and in about three months time, the first customer cars of the XC40 and C40 will arrive. And actually, my car are one of those. I have placed the order for uh, our XC40 Model 24. And that's uh, arriving in the middle of August. And with that, we're getting huge, huge upgrades. And now we're gonna talk more about that in detail. We're starting off with the Model 23. So you have to, uh, so you get the starting ground and can better understand and see the huge differences that Volvo are implementing for the Model 24. Right now we have two options. We have the single motor and we have the twin motor. So the single motor has a battery on 69 kilowatt hours and has a performance figure of 231. And that is front wheel drive only. You can only get front wheel drive for the single motor. So 231 and 69 kilowatt hours battery. And then we have the recharge twin, as this one is. Here we have constant all-wheel drive, 50-50 distribution, system power 408 horsepower, so 204 horsepower on each axle. We have a battery of 78 kilowatt hours, so bigger than the single motor battery. And that is, as I said, all-wheel drive. Just love this road. So 78, 408 uh, horsepower. The WLTP figures for the recharge twin options are about 430 kilometers, depending if it's a XC or if it's a C, and also the trim level, alloy size, yeah, you know, but about 430. The charging speed or the peak power on the Model 23 recharge uh, twin that is 150 kilowatt hours. Uh, no kilowatt. So that is our starting ground before we get huge, huge upgrades. I'm gonna overlay some pictures because this scenery are just breathtaking. So that was um, Model 23. And now we're jumping over to Model 24. The single motor are now available in two different configurations. 
First we have the standard range that has a battery of 72 kilowatt hours and a system uh, or a performance figure of 238 horsepower. So a little increase in both. But the biggest change are that the single motor aren't front wheel drive anymore. It's actually rear wheel drive. And that is a pretty massive change to, to just implement in a model year update from 23 to 24. They don't even call it a facelift, it's just new model air and massive change on the single motor option. And then we have a single motor extended range. And then we have a bigger battery on 82 kilowatt hours and the performance figure are up to 252 horsepower. Also rear wheel drive. So that's the two single motor options. And I'm not sure if these two options will be available in all markets, maybe just one of them, but at least that's the options that Volvo delivers. And then we have the new Recharge Twin that I find the most interesting. Before, as this car has, we had a 50-50 distribution. But on the new Model 24, we actually get a stronger rear electric motor. So the front motor will deliver 159 horsepower and the rear motor will provide 249 horsepower. So that will give us a distribution of about 38 and 62, just give or takes. But about that, so we got a rear wheel drive, all wheel drive setup. That is really, really interesting. I'm really looking forward to testing that out, um, especially in winter conditions, to see how it is. If it's better than the 50-50 distribution as the current recharge twin cars have. The WLTP figures are also heavily bumped. We're taking, uh, starting with the recharge twin versions. They had like 430. And when Volvo launched the Model 24, they claimed that the new one would uh, go 496. But then like two month, months ago, they bumped it even further. And the current figures for the recharge twin XC40 are about 535. So that's a massive jump, over 100 kilometers extra. And if you go for the extended range, single motor, like the C40, then you're reaching almost 580 kilometers in the WLTP. Oh, that's just massive, massive upgrades. But that's not even enough. Volvo has taken it one step further. They have also increased the charging speed. And that's highly appreciated. The peak power on the current lineup, the Model 23, are 150 kilowatt. But now on the Model 24, it's up to 200 kilowatt. I'm just gonna look at that. Now it's 200 kilowatt. And that is really, really appreciated, as I said. So we get a bigger battery, 82 kilowatt hours. We get another motor setup. We got faster charging, longer range, and uh, the consumption also uh, goes down. And a little fun fact about the new rear electric motor. I'm just gonna find a place to stop and grab some pictures as, as well. We're now crossing into uh, the county of Vestland. But anyway, a, new, uh, a little fun fact about the rear electric motor that's actually developed in Sweden. Developed and produced in Sweden. That's really cool. Made by Sweden. Even if uh, many people uh, think uh, or look at Volvo as a Chinese company. But anyway, that's a little, uh, just a fun fact. So I'm really excited to test out the new Model D24. It's going to be really, really cool. And I got, as I said, uh, a Model 24 in order myself. I'm going to do some uh, customizations with it. One of them will actually reduce the, um, the range, but I think it's gonna look wicked when it's uh, completed, so stay tuned for that. And now I will stop and grab some pictures, and then I will be heading into uh, Bergen. So, huge thanks uh, so far for watching uh, this video, and I hope you will stay tuned for the last part. We can also take a look at the consumption while we uh, get into Bergen. I got a Let's see, I got three hours, no, 
3 hours and 50 minutes remaining. I'm just gonna stop here and have to grab some pictures at this location. Just amazing scenery. But thanks so far. I hope you will join me on the next part as well. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not here. It's been way too long. If I could lay down beside you, I would. That's all I wanna do I hope that you're safe and that I will see you soon If I can lay down beside you I would, I would I would, I would, I would. We talk on the phone Every night Love to hear your voice Not sleeping well And I know that you're right But you should know it You've been gone for way too long now. Hello, hello and welcome to Bergen And welcome to wet and rainy Bergen You gotta get that home feeling done just right it has actually been raining for the last uh, two hours or so to build up the tension and you know you're heading towards uh, Bergen. This is the city in Norway where definitely it rains the most. Uh, we have just arrived here um, at a place called Fana. We got a huge lagoon shopping center just in the background here. It's like 15 minutes outside the city core. And I actually used to work just a stone chip away at the elementary school. We worked there for 14 years. So this is my hometown, Bergen. I haven't been here for six or seven months. And it's like the song, I left my heart in San Francisco. Well, I left my heart here in Bergen. So, yeah. But now it's time to look at the consumption figures for the XC40. As I said, it has been raining for the last two hours and that has made that um, the consumption has increased ever so slightly. But after 513 kilometers, the consumption ended on 19.4. And then we are also running with the 20 inch Michelin cross climate tires. So 19.4. Not too bad, but now it's time to uh, head up to the hotel and get some uh, well-deserved sleep. Uh, but I really hope you enjoyed this video and the detailed tour of the Model 24 XC40. I got, uh, I got much cool content coming and also a little uh, treat on Sunday or Monday starring the XC40. So make sure to stay tuned uh, for that one. But I think it's gonna uh, I think I'm gonna end this video here. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye bye.